Larry Bird with his assistants Rick Carlisle and Dick Harder. Carlisle mentioned prominently as a potential successor to Bird. Over on the other side. Phil Jackson can count on the counsel of 78 year old Tex Winter one of the most respected figures in the game. Jim Clemens there's Winter. Jim Clemens and Frank Hamlin also over there. Now the one thing if you're the Lakers on dribble penetration a two ties you so you want to be very careful this is the best three point shooting team in the NBA we talked about that if you get drawn in with penetration a three beats you so you've got to be very careful here defensively what you want to do and you don't want to give up a touch three point play Rose will throw it in Mark Jackson four seconds Reggie off the screen for three. The Lakers have a 3-1 lead. That could have won it. It was for the win rather than the tie. It would have tied the series. Well, you know what? It sort of goes with their coach's mentality. Larry Bird was always a guy who went for the win. He got his man the shot. Reggie Miller had it squared up. And he just missed it. But what a tremendous game, and more importantly, an unbelievable overtime and fourth quarter by Kobe Bryant. Here is the shot. Robert Ory gets a hand up. Bob, from our angle, looked like it might be right on. It looked like it was about six inches short from being right in the center of the basket. The Lakers prevail. And Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal were, were unbelievable when they needed to be tonight. Kobe had 28, eight of them in overtime. Here he is with a mod. All right, thanks, Bob. Kobe, while Indiana kept talking about this being the most important game of the entire season, you guys were thinking the same thing in your locker room. Well, in our mind, this is the championship. Uh, so we came out, played with effort. We knew they were going to come out with a lot of energy. We just wanted to keep it close and make a nice little run. Now, going down the stretch, Shaq goes down. All of a sudden, you step up. These are the kind of moments that you look for, aren't they? Yeah, when Shaq fouled found out, my mind state was, you know, this game just became an awful, awful lot more interesting than it was. And uh, it was just fun for me. You know, I laughed about it. Just went out and played relaxed as if I was in the backyard. Now, now tell me about the, the ankle injury. I know that's something that's been bothering you. At halftime, you told me it was hurting you a lot. But it's hurting right now. It feels like it's just beating right now. And uh, it's real tight. It's real sore. So I'm just going to ice it, do some treatment, and get ready for the next game. All right. Congratulations on a great performance. Thank you. All right. Let's go over to Jim Gray. All right. Thank you very much. Am I 36 points for Shaquille O'Neal? 16 in the fourth quarter then you fouled out was this the type of game that you grew up dreaming about does this throw you back to the old days overtime in the finals uh, a little bit you know we we uh, let one get away the other day so you know we came here with the conscious ever that we wanted to win this game today and we did that uh, I fouled out Kobe Bryant took over he's a fabulous player I'm glad he's back and now uno mas to go Shaq you've missed 31 free throws in the last two games tonight you're 10 for 16. Why were you so accurate tonight? Well, uh, whenever I put my mind to it and concentrate, I always hit him. The other night, I probably wasn't concentrating, and you know, I probably was uh, rushing a little bit. But uh, I knew that I knew that if I would have made a couple, you know, we could have possibly won that game. So tonight, I wanted to make it a conscious effort to you know try to hit him. Three-one. Was this the backbreaker? Can this other group come back, or, or is it, as you say, just do no mas? We just have to uh, win one more game, and uh, we're gonna come here Friday and you know try to end it, and uh, you know hopefully we can get it done. All right, check. Congratulations.